welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a kit up video of this diamond painting here. I got that it's from Tin Me Arts. So it's actually called Nicole Flower on this canvas, but when I saw it on AliExpress, they called it Dazzling Flower, and I kind of like the Dazzling Flower better. So it's from Tin Me Arts on AliExpress. I paid $8.53 for this during the AliExpress 11.11 sales. So it's probably a little bit more expensive now. So it said it was a 40 by 48, but the drill area is 32 by 40. Um, this is on poured glue. I got round drills. There are ABs and DMC numbers with this. So there are 35 colors in all, eight of them being ABs. So I was like, eight, is it really eight? Yep, it's eight. Um, so yeah, here is the, oh yeah, here's the original image here. Wait, is that upside down? Should it be this way? I can't tell. But yeah, this is the way it is on the canvas. So yeah, I am going to use this um, 56 container storage system. And let's just get on with the unboxing. I mean, the <clears throat> kidding up. So yeah, they did come in these strip containers, which I thought was surprising because usually the old other Tin Me Arts ones I got came in the little individual baggie. So I'm actually kind of happy it came in this. Where's number one? Okay, so it has a DMC number on there. Um, just gonna put that. Okay, so I did scan the legend and I made stickers from this. So, okay. So yeah, you know, What's it called? You might not have noticed it, but I actually took a two week break from like recording um, videos just because I had too big of a backlog of videos and some of them were kind of just getting old. And so now I'm just kind of, it's kind of weird trying to get back into the, the rhythm of doing these videos. Oh man, there's a lot of static in this one. Um, yeah, I, I, yeah, I didn't freeze these ones. I thought I was kind of getting over the static issues because, you know, it's not as cold anymore. So I thought maybe it's much better, but, but yeah. Oh, well, what can I do other than kind of deal with it? At least, yeah, no, it's a little bit jumpy. I guess I could get my, my what they call that, dryer sheets, but we'll see. Maybe it's just this first one. Okay. Nope, one more over here. Oh, man. Okay. It really is jumping. Yep, maybe I should have froze this. <laughs> oh, well. I didn't, I didn't, um, yeah, I didn't plan this one out as much, I guess. So, yeah, so... Yeah, I, just, I said I, I did take a, a, what they call that, a break from recording just because I actually had too much of a backlog. And now apparently I forgot how to kit up because it's been actually a while since I've kit up. Well, two weeks. Two weeks is a long time, right? Man, this is... It's really sticking. I kind of want to go do a different kitting up. <laughs> just... Hoping that some other drills aren't as staticky as this one. But yeah, it is a little difficult to... Once you take that two-week break, you're just like, eh, I don't feel like recording. But I've actually kind of almost run out of diamond paintings. Well, not I haven't run out. There are still a couple that are kitted up that I haven't completed, but I just didn't feel like doing any of them, so... Um, so now I'm like, okay, I kind of want to do this one. So I'm going to kit this up. Okay. It's really sticking to the sides here. I think I'm going to go. Okay. So I went and put lotion on my hands and I got a dryer sheet. I don't know. This was just really, really, really staticky. So I don't know why. Maybe it's because it was in shipping so long. Maybe because I didn't bother freezing this. I don't know. Watch once I actually, once the first two are down, the next are gonna be like, no problem. Um, 
Yeah, see, this one wasn't that bad. <laughs> okay. But I put a dryer sheet in there in case. But yeah, I was talking about like me taking a break from recording. Um, and it is actually kind of hard to go back because you're, you just kind of like, kind of forgot how to like record videos. Um, well, hopefully this is all in screen, yeah. Um, but it was nice to take the break. Um, I got to do some, some stuff that I should have been doing, you know, like paying my taxes and in case this ends up being posted after tax day in the US, which is April 15, unless they postponed it again or like postponed it, but expanded it, not expanded it, but man, what's the right word? Like last year in 2020, they, they, oh, they extended it. Um, last year they did extend it. So I don't know if they did it this year, but I filed my taxes. Um, you know, the fun adult stuff you have to do. But yeah, no, I'm, I'm recording this mid-March, so no, I didn't wait to the last minute in case this doesn't get posted until April. So yeah, I got, I got some of my adults thing done. So yeah, paid, ah, uh, not paid, because I got a refund, but a tiny one. I don't believe in massive refunds because that just means you're what's it called? Paying way more taxes than you're supposed to during the year. So I'm actually a big believer of having a tiny refund or no refund at all as in paying, because at least then you got to keep your money instead of paying it to the government too early. But yeah. So yep, did my taxes. Um, I actually got to finish a couple of diamond paintings. So um, I did talk about taking a break because I was a little, I had too much of a backlog of videos. I especially had a lot of a backlog of videos for kidding ups because there was a point I was kidding up like two or three a weekend and I don't finish, I usually don't finish that many in a week. So, um, I was, I had a backlog of kidding up videos, man, this one has a lot of static. I had a backlog of kidding up videos with putting the, this, and it was getting kind of hard to keep track of what was getting posted and what wasn't getting posted. So yeah. And plus there was a point when I was talking about things and it would just be like, it had to do with January and it didn't post it until like March. That was what was happening. I was like two months ahead in my kidding up and the things I was talking about was getting old. So, yep, I think the break was nice, but it is kind of hard to get back into the groove of things. Um, but yeah, no, I, right now I have three completed that I have not actually recorded the completion review since I did take the two weeks off. But I kind of think that I kind of need that time between working on it and finishing it before I make the video because I think if I make the video too early, I end up being way more harsh in my review than if I had finished it, waited like a week to record the review um, so that I was a little bit farther away from actually doing the, the diamond painting. Cause sometimes, you know, you have like the frustrations with the diamond painting or something and then you put it out, um, put it on the completion and you're just like, it wasn't that bad. So I've been trying not to record my completions right away just so that I could have that perspective of looking at it like, you know, it looks really beautiful instead of like, man, the symbols were sucky, the, I don't know, the drills were horrible, I don't know. But yeah, I, I, I think I tend to be a little bit more critical, harshly critical, if I do the review right away, maybe that's what it should be like. Cause I mean, you do spend a lot of hours diamond painting something, but sometimes if I look at it I, after I watch my review over, I'm like, cause, okay. So since I am on a posting buffer, um, and 
what's it called? That means sometimes when I post a video, I would have actually recorded it like a month ago. So every time I post a video, I actually rewatch it on the day that it's, um, what's it called? Getting posted. Or usually I watch every, I watch them all again the weekend before it gets posted, just because I don't remember what I talked about like a month ago. So when I'm responding to people's comments, I'm like, uh, I don't even remember what I talked about in that video. So, so I do watch them before, like within a couple days of it being posted, just to make sure I know what, what actually happened in the video. But, but yeah, no, that's where I was having the issues. It's like, I started, I don't even know if people even noticed, but I started putting like little like disclaimers, I guess, on my description box saying like, oh, I recorded this back in January because I was not post, I didn't post it until March and things I said might be like completely outdated, which is true a lot of times. So um, I did start putting in those, I guess, disclaimers just because I didn't want to, for people to think, I don't know, just in case I said something that was really, really out of date. Um, but I don't know how many, how much people actually read reviews. I mean, not reviews, um, description boxes. So, so yeah, man, there's so much static in this thing. I actually have noticed I've been getting a little bit more static now that when I'm working, like my current one that I'm working on, like it has so much static on it. So I'm, I'm thinking maybe, maybe the humidity is getting really bad now at my house. So I, I think I have to run my humidifier. I don't know how much it helps, but, but man, this, this one's really bad. Um, so much static. Why didn't I freeze this? I don't even know if freezing would have helped if the static really is this bad. Man, what was I talking about before I was distracted by the really bad static on these? But yeah, no, the this past week, the current diamond painting I'm working on, like the static on the drills was really, really bad. Like, and usually by the time it's kitted up and I actually work on it, the static kind of goes away. It, but yeah, no, it was really bad. I started like having to um, spray my trays with static guard. It's like this static cling spray just because it just got pretty bad. But yeah, no, there's so much static on this one. Trying to push it down so that I don't know. Should I put like some some dryer sheets in the actual bag before I put it in there? I I hate doing this dryer sheet thing. I'm 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 like looking forward to the summer when there's so much less. There's so there's. It's not so dry. Now I'm trying the whole breathing into there to give it a little, to give it a little less, um, to give it a little moisture. But man, this is gonna be a much longer kit up video than I thought it would be because this is, I haven't actually had this much static the last times, so maybe it's because I took that two week break <laughs> and it knows. No, I have, I haven't had this much static recently or the last time I kitted up, man, I have so much, everything's just sticking to me. Um, I'm hoping to give enough drills because I might be losing drills left and right here. Um, Wow, it's really bad. This is so, so bad. Do I have to? 
wipe my tray with some of this dryer sheet. So yeah, I am I am experiencing the crazy static. I think I've gotten a lot of questions about the static and how I I deal with it and well this is not the way you should be dealing with it, but the freezer thing usually works for me. I don't know if freezing this would have been would have worked because this one seems to have so much static. Like it's not even yeah, it's it's a lot of static. I'm gonna see if maybe I should go get my spray and try spraying my my tray. Let me go pause this and get it. So I have had some success in just spraying my stuff with this. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I bit. I sprayed my tray. I don't know how to. I would be able to spray the actual like container or anything. I don't think that would work. Um, but 608, where was I? 608. Oh, 606. I was like, oh no, it's a different number. But yeah, I don't even know what I was talking about. Yeah, stupid static, completely. See, this one was fine, mostly until the very end. So I guess not all colors were created equal or maybe put it because I said I, I sprayed my tray with that static guard. Maybe it being in near vicinity is enough. I don't know. But but you notice the static in the bag. So that one just didn't have as much static. So. Okay, this one's not gonna fit in just one. But man, this this kidding up is so much longer than I thought it would be. Um, and then this is my like inaugural kidding up after taking my two week break from re recording. So probably a, like you get actually kind of used to talking on camera the more you do it, but you know, just a break like completely forget how to do things. So, <laughs> so yeah. Um, what else was, oh, what else was I going to talk about? To, oh, um, so I did notice on this canvas, I don't know if you could tell, um, it actually says www.tinmearts.com. So it looks like Tinme Arts made their own website. So I did actually look it up and, um, and what's it called? the stuff there is like way more expensive like double the price of Timmy art stuff like that you would see on amazon or on aliexpress so i don't know if that means they're gonna try to gear towards getting off of um aliexpress and amazon and hoping people buy directly from their store but yeah the stuff was way more expensive as in like double the price but i also noticed they had more um more images than nor like than i've seen on amazon or aliexpress and they had like options for bigger sizes which i haven't seen like i actually saw some of them had like an option for like a 60 by 80 so i mean that's tin me art size maybe i don't know if it would be 60 by 80 as in like subtract eight in eight centimeters from me, both sides and then that's the real size or if they're moving towards um what they call that if they're moving towards um drill area size but i did see options for bigger um diamond paintings and i guess if if you are looking for if you like timmy arts and you're looking for the images bigger if timmyarts.com does seem like they have the option to get the bigger size. I don't know if they're going to come with ABs. I did notice that some of the listings said AB in the title and some of them didn't. So I'm assuming the ones with AB in the title means they have ABs in there, but I, I have not ordered from it. So I don't know. But if anyone has ordered from timmyarts.com, um, I wouldn't mind you sharing your experience in the comments because 
you know, we all kind of learn from each other in this because we can't buy all the diamond paintings, right? From all the diamond painting companies that just, just way too many. But if we share our experiences, I guess we would be able to figure out where to buy things that had, uh, you know, and you had a good experience from it. So, so much static on this one. It's just, I could already see it. I actually find breathing into it to calm it down and put a little like moisture in it works a lot. But maybe I just have a lot of hot air in my, my mouth. I don't know. Man, I should just not be talking. I don't know why. It's because I haven't recorded in a while. Who knows what's coming out of my mouth. Um, God, there's so much... So much static. So much. So much. I wonder if... Okay, so I did say that Tin Me Arts before did not do... The, these like long strip packaging. I'm wondering if I actually had kit up one of the other ones that were in the like little individual um, like baggies. It wouldn't be this staticky. Like, I wonder if you get more static from these strip packagings than the little individual baggies. I don't know. Or like the zip baggies. Ah, maybe that's why I have it. I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out why I have so much static on this one when I haven't actually had static in a while. I've actually, it's actually been very, I've been pretty, it's been pretty good for me. So it's because I didn't put this in the freezer. Um, is it? Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Eight one seven. So yeah, I was actually, when I saw that Tin Me Arts had their own website, I was actually very tempted to buy like one of them, like one of the big ones, like there were like the 60 by 80, even though I don't really like doing things that big, I just kind of wanted to see if their bigger renderings would be better. But yeah, I was like, it was also like expensive, like I think, I don't remember if, if it was like as expensive as something of that size from like Diamond Art Club, but but I'm on the belief that if you're gonna spend that much money, it should be like licensed art and not just like stock images or something. Because why else would it be that expensive, right? Um, and hence why I, I haven't bought from like Evermoment and things like that, just because it just seems expensive for non-licensed art, but but maybe the quality is there. I don't know. If anyone has ever done like one of these more expensive places, kind of, like I think I've seen like there's like like I think I've seen like a couple of videos with like Spell Queen, and it seems like they're kind of expensive too. Um, and then like I've seen like people do ever moments like is it worth the price is it worth going up that higher like if you had bought the same exact image from like home fun and ever moment at the same size would it be is the ever moment really that much more awesome i don't know i mean i would make that video at some point maybe i don't know but right now I'm trying not to buy too many things. I have bought too much, too many diamond paintings. I actually kind of want to complete them before I keep adding more. So I'm trying, I'm really trying this year to, I guess, slash the stash, right? I think I saw that as a hashtag last year. Um, but I'm trying to slash my stash where, so my original goal was to have my completed diamond paintings be more than my uncompleted diamond paintings. So 
I'm actually at, I think I'm around 50% right now. Like, so I, I did reach that goal, but you know, the more diamond paintings you have, the more, um, you know, the more you finish, the more, the, that, that means my stash could be even more because if I was trying to do my whole, like finish 50% of my stash, you know, the more I finish, the more I could get, right? So now I'm just trying to, I originally wanted to get my diamond paintings down to like 20, but I think that's unrealistic because um, I actually think I complete diamond paintings relatively quickly. So even if I was down to 20, I would finish that like in like three months maybe, or four months, depending on how big they were. So, so I think now my goal is to be down to less than 30 diamond paintings that I have not finished and not do it like on a percentage basis because yeah, the more I complete, then that just means the more I could go buy. Right? Um, but yeah, right now I actually am about 50% completed versus what I haven't completed. And I think my unfinished, because I've already completed about 60 something diamond paintings since I've started diamond painting. So yeah, I think I have, I think I have like 60 something diamond paintings that I have not finished. So, um, I pretty much just have to complete like 30 more or maybe more like 35 more without buying more, which is the hardest part the without buying more. Um, but so I'm trying not to go buy too many, um, cause yeah, what am I going to do with them all if I can't finish them? Um, and plus, you know, it costs money that I should be saving or something and for something else. I don't know what, because this stuff makes me happy, but I should be saving money, right? Yeah. But I actually have done well. Like, I don't think I've actually bought anything. You might think I'm buying continuously because I have the unboxing, but I kind of, I'm kind of one of those like, um, buy several things at once and then take a long break from buying a lot, um, again. So I'm actually at about three weeks since I have bought anything diamond painted related. So except for frames, I, I apparently run out of them and I, cause I frame a lot of things. So I have been buying some frames. Um, but I actually have not bought anything diamond painting related for three weeks. So yay me, which about, might not sound that long, but it is. It's a long time. Um, but yeah, it might not seem like it because I have my unboxings. But like I said, I tend to buy. I kind of when I when I, I I don't know if maybe I should just stop putting myself on a no buy because um, what ends up happening is I, I go through these like, you know, I don't buy anything for a month thing. And then suddenly I buy a lot of things when I'm just like, I've been good. I'm mean, I'm not buying, I, I didn't buy anything for like a month. And then suddenly I buy a whole bunch of things in just a short period of time. So maybe at my whole like no buy stuff doesn't work because if I just had just, you know, bought things how I wanted, I just wouldn't buy as many because I was never on a no buy instead of this kind of binge buying I do, but, or I might just end up buying more. I don't know, but that's why I'm trying. I'm really trying to get to my, my 30 diamond paintings by the end of the year or where I only have 30 left that I haven't done, but we'll see. We'll see how much self-control I have. Like I've put myself on a like storage no buy. Um, I do actually still have two, well, I don't know when this is getting posted, but at the time of me recording this, I still, I have two unboxings of storage that have not been posted. They might have been posted already. I don't know, depending on when this gets put up, but yeah, I still have two storage unboxings that have not been posted, but that should be it. I should just not buy anymore. Like the storage. The, the drill storage, I just have too many. I should not buy more, but but yet. 
I think that, like, that one I really have to put myself on a no buy on, because, because I seriously will just keep buying more. While buying more diamond paintings is, is good because then it will like, it's, I mean, it's like another project you could do, right? What will me buying more storage like gain me? Nothing really, other than my happiness because I love the storage. <laughs> yeah, I have issues. Um, I don't think, I wasn't planning to talk about this, but this kidding up is taking way more longer with all the static that I anticipated. So so now you're hearing, hearing me just kind of ramble when originally I thought this was gonna be like a 30 minute video max. Um, just because, you know, they're in these strip packaging and there's only like one bag per thing, so yeah. I thought this was gonna take 30 minutes max, but all this static was getting to me, so so now I'm talking about not buying things and like I'm trying to really shame myself into not buying things. Ooh, we're getting to the ABs now. Um because yeah. Otherwise, I'd be out of control because I don't really like my finances are my own. I am not, I don't have like, I don't like have a husband or something that I'm trying to like hide what I'm buying. Everything I buy is with my own money. Um, so, so yeah, who else is going to shame me other than myself, right? <laughs> I have to put some sort of self-restraint into my buying. Um, but yeah, it's hard. Okay, so that's the first AB. It's a nice orange one. Here's my next one. 136. See, I kind of wish these were in, like, DMC numbers. Like, I would think this is maybe 820. I, if anyone knows of a conversion between these like three digit or like these lower number AB, AB numbers and like the real DMC, like it would be great. Like, no, that's not going to fit. Um, like so that, cause I do like using these things to enhance other ones and it's just easier when there's a like DMC number. So then you don't have to think so much. What I've normally been doing is I have my ABs, my leftover, man, look at that static. It's just like throwing my plastic. But yeah, I have my a my spare ABs um, organized by color so that um, when I do want to replace something, I kind of just take out my bag, my different bags of the different colors, and then I just kind of eyeball um, the color and be like, okay, that's close enough. I could use that. Um, but it would be so much easier if I could just substitute the DMC for DMC, right? With the AV instead of having to do an eyeballing. Um, but yeah, if anyone knows of a conversion between these like under 150 numbers to DMC codes, that would be great. If you could share it, and then I could share it to the people watching my videos. Um, but yeah, I haven't found one. I don't think anyone has ever linked any that that I've seen in YouTube, but they could have. I don't watch every single YouTube video. So, but yeah, if anyone knows a conversion, and that's not like a Facebook group because I actually don't have Facebook. <laughs> I would like to know. Man, this plastic is just flying. Ooh, this one's pretty. I don't know if you can see this pretty pink AB there. That one's pretty. Man, I actually have, like, I'm just looking at my down here and I have so many, like, excess drills here from when they flew because of static. Um, So if anyone ever does buy from tinmearts.com and gets like the bigger sizes, I would love to know if 
if it was worth it, if the bigger sizes were worth it. Like I know like for a while Tinmi Tinmi Arts has usually really good renderings, but I have seen a couple finishes that didn't look that great, so I'm wondering if they're cuz see I I always thought that Tinmi Arts probably hand charted their diamond paintings because the the renderings tend to be very good, but um I think I saw it on What's um it's her her channel name I think is Diamond Painting by Nat or yeah or Natalie or Diamond Paintings by Nat. She had a Tiffany Arts finish um where it didn't look that great and so now I'm wondering if Tiffany Arts has stopped hand charting and um yeah the same YouTuber also said that um Tiffany Arts had changed ownership. And maybe that's why they have this other um, diamond painting website that actually sells the Tiffany Art stuff for much higher prices. I'm wondering if the change of ownership, man, that's just flying so much, has, look at how pretty this one is, um, has changed the quality of Tiffany Arts. I mean, just for, if you watched my unboxing of this order, like just the one order had like, several different logos at the top of the canvas and I'm wondering if these ones just look really good because they're like the older versions and if the new stuff is going to be more computer generated and therefore won't be as nice as they are now um but yeah I would be curious to see if their quality is still going to be there for the the bigger pr um, sizes and the bigger prices um, if they are, it might be worth it. I do really like their renderings. Um, and when I was looking at the site, I did see more diamond paintings on images on tinmearts.com than I see on AliExpress. Because I, I have bought Tinmi Arts from Amazon too, but Amazon actually doesn't have that many of their images. So, um, I actually prefer getting them from AliExpress because one, it's usually a tiny bit cheaper. On, on what's it called AliExpress and what's it called there are more more what do you call that images oh that's weird this is 124 uh, these these are like not even in order I didn't notice that but it doesn't really matter um, man this plastic is like sticking to me all right so much static but yeah I don't know if if anyone has tried the bigger diamond paintings from tinmearts.com, I would love to know and know if they are just as good as they have been in the past or is getting the new manufacturers or owners or something, if that is true, has changed their quality. Because like I said, I did see on diamond paintings by Nat that it didn't, one of her things didn't turn out that good. So yeah, there it is. It's done. So much, so much static on this one. Um, I do, actually, I was planning to kit up another Tin Me Arts one today. I mean, they're not going to be in the same video, but now I'm just like, this one had so much static, I kind of don't want to do that one, and I'll probably go kit something else up because, yeah, I'm hoping, oh my gosh, like, it's just flying. Um, I'm hoping if I do a different manufacturer or something, it won't be as so much full of static. Because yeah, no, this is kind of obscene. Um, yeah. Okay. There it is. It's all kitted up. It's finished. There's my journal entry and my original image. All right. Thank you for watching and happy diamond painting. Bye.